Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about legal issues in mental health nursing. So this is my part B video which was taken from unit 14 in the subject mental health nursing. So in part A, we have discussed about Indian Mental Health Act as well as admission procedure and chapters from 1 to 4. So from chapters 5 to 10, we will be discussing in this video. So in that very important is discharge procedure which comes under chapter 5. This video will be useful for BSc nursing students and post basic BSc nursing students. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to science, easy tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the topic. So, as I have told earlier, first four chapters have been discussed in my part A video. I will be giving the video link in description box, suggested end card and I card. So, this is my chapter 5. So, it deals with the, the procedures that is uh, in Indian Mental Health Act, we are seeing various chapters. So under that chapter 5, it deals with the procedures to be followed for the discharge of mentally ill patients. So admission is discussed in chapter 4 and discharge, discharge is di discussed in chapter 5. So voluntary discharge. So medical officer in charge of a psychiatric hospital on recommendation from two medical practitioners preferably so out of the two medical practitioners uh, if at all it is a psychiatrist it is well and good mostly in psychiatric hospital you will be having psychiatric specialist doctors so they can issue directions for discharge of your patient so these two medical officers are uh, uh, like a psychiatrist they will be telling that the patient is fit for discharge and they will recommend this to the medical officer who is in charge of that particular psychiatric hospital or institution so this type of discharge is called voluntary discharge so discharge of a patient who has been admitted under special circumstances so in this case a relative or a friend can give an application to the medical officer for uh, discharge so they will give a um, an application that they wants to get the patient to get be discharged and they will take care of the patient in the home setup so either a voluntary or a relative or a friend they can come forward and they can write a letter or an application to the medical officer in charge asking for discharge of the patient next Discharge of a patient admitted under reception order or court order. So in such a case, an applicant who feels that the patient has recovered from illness, either it can be a doctor or it can be a relative or if the patient is of good, then he has to because he has been admitted by means of a reception order from a magistrate. So the, the medical officer in charge uh, should uh, produce an application to discharge of the patient before the magistrate so a certificate should be accompanied by such an application where the medical officer in charge of the psychiatric hospital has signed suppose if a relative wants to take that uh, patient no uh, so he has to ask the medical superintendent and the medical superintendent or the medical officer in charge he has to give a certificate that the patient is fit for discharge based on the um, recommendations from the psychiatrist doctors then he has to forward this uh, along with the application this should be forwarded to the magistrate by a relative or friend or someone who has who wants the patient to get discharge so in case of discharge of a patient admission on reception order an application has to be forwarded to the magistrate which should be sub, uh, supported by documents uh, like a uh, evidence okay uh, like application for discharge uh, which should be supported by uh, uh, med two medical officers uh, should uh, sign that the patient is fit for discharge preferably they can be a psychiatrist and this should be certified by a uh, medical officer in charge of the psychiatric hospital and uh, the if the magistrate uh, is satisfied uh, with that then he will be issuing an order stating that the patient can be discharged Next, discharge of a mentally ill prisoner. The hospital authorities have to report every six months about the person's state of mind to the authority which had ordered detention. 
for example see the patient has been uh, admitted in the previous video also i have given this uh, example suppose if the patient has committed a crime and uh, the crime was found that because of his psychiatric problem only he has committed that crime or murder whatever it may be in such a case if the court has given punishment for 10 years but he will not be sent to a normal jail instead that that he will be sent to psychiatric hospital for treatment and he will be placed in a criminal ward suppose think that if the patient has recovered within 4 years then uh, uh, for that only every six months uh, this psychiatric hospital will be sending a report to the court authorities as well as the police uh, station whichever is responsible for the patient who has sent the patient for detention so about the progress of the patient suppose think that the patient uh, uh, has recovered within four uh, years means then this will be reported to the a police station and the police will take over the patient and the remaining six years out of ten years four years he has spent in the psychiatric criminal ward remaining six years he will be spending in the normal um, jail so in th this is in case of discharge of a mentally ill prisoner okay suppose if not if not the person is uh, for the whole uh, 10 years he was having psychiatric problem means so the whole 10 years he will be spending in the psychiatric uh, what and finally he will be discharged okay discharged or something whatever is necessary he will be discharged as per the uh, authorities suggestion leave or absence so this is nothing but discharge on parole so it means that the patient can give you a can be given your permission suppose in, if the patient uh, family members are writing a letter uh, to the medical officer in charge stating that they want to uh, uh, leave uh, or uh, they want to take the uh, patient uh, suppose if there is going to be some any family occasions or any death of a close relative uh, or any marriage or any functions like that and all uh, in the family if it is going to take place uh, so they will be taking this person uh, for such activities in such a time the person has to the person who is taking they are responsible to prevent the patient from injury and also to prevent the patient from causing injury to others it can be in both vice versa okay so a maximum of 60 days will be granted as a parole okay next is chapter 6 so it deals with judicial inquiry regarding mentally ill persons possessing property their custody so previously what till now what we have seen is about discharge procedure so what and all comes under discharge procedure discharge uh, uh, voluntary discharge discharge of your patient who has been admitted under special circumstances discharge of patient admitted on reception order discharge of mentally ill prisoner discharge on leave of absence or leave parole okay next chapter 6 it deals with judicial inquiry regarding mentally ill person possessing property their custody and management of property suppose if a mentally ill person is having property how to handle the property or uh, suppose if the property has to come for the mentally ill person so what are all the legal proceedings uh, and a legal guardian or custody whom to take care of the property or manage the property okay everything will be uh, clearly explained in this chapter 6 how the property of a mentally ill person has to be handled suppose if there is no relatives uh, or a guardian the court uh, the court uh, itself will be admitting a legal guardian for the client next is chapter 7 it deals with ways and means to meet the cost and maintenance of mentally ill persons who has been detained in psychiatric hospital or nursing home suppose it is a private hospital okay so what is the fee structure regulations okay the expenses everything will be borne by the uh, patients relative suppose if it is a government setup uh, what is the state government contribution in order to take care of the in order to run the psychiatric hospital and what is the central government contribution like that it will be there okay so for maintenance what is the budget uh, everything will be discussed in this uh, chapter 7 next is it is the latest addition to the act that is mental health act uh, that contains a very novel novel means new and explicit provisions for protection of human rights of mentally ill person see all all persons are having human rights whether it is mentally ill or whether it is normal so everyone is having right to equality right to 
treat equal treatment like that and all because uh, many um, human beings have been uh, mentally ill persons have been exploited in uh, uh, unethical research activities like that and all so in order to protect uh, the person from uh, any harm uh, ethical considerations here your human rights plays a very important role which has been dealt in detail in chapter 8 next chapter 9 it deals with procedures followed for the establishment and maintenance of psychiatric hospitals and psychiatric nursing homes what is the basic guidelines basic norms rules or regulations in order to start and maintain a psychiatric hospital or a psychiatric nursing home many private psychiatric hospitals and psychiatric nursing homes are also there so that there should be some statutory guidelines in order to run and maintain the uh, psychiatric hospital next is chapter 10 it deals with clarification pertaining to certain procedures to be followed by the medical officer in charge of the psychiatric hospital or nursing home so one thing what we have to consider here is in chapter 10 so whatever some of the um, duties duties of a medical officer what procedures has to be followed suppose if the psychiatric patient has been dead and no one is there to collect the body um, then what is the procedure how how it should be disposed like there's so many things uh, um, uh, how to admit how to discharge any legal implications uh, uh, any untoward incidents and all no so what is the protocol or what is the certain procedures which has to be followed by a medical officer in charge of the psychiatric hospital or a nursing home so that has been very detailly discussed in chapter 10 now so my next part c video will be on mental health care bill and basic rights of mentally ill person hope this video is clear for you all if you like my video please give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link I have given in description box, suggested end card and I card. Or you can watch our channel playlist for more nursing related videos and also intermediate related videos. Thank you friends. Keep supporting to Science Easy Tech channel.